Hello, I'm your host Christian Rauda and you're watching a marketing show called Impact 8020. And today I have a quest from Poland, Wojtek Ma. Um, Wojtek is, uh, is starting his career actually in Protect, Protect, Protector and Campbell. Protector Open Campbell. Campbell is, yes. And then it was moving to Hebrew Placard and now the, for the last five years you're working in Luxoft, which is the I mean, big international IT service company. You have mm -hmm. 12, 12 thousand plus yes Correct. <laughs> Correct. and you are managing basically central europe mm -hmm. that's what i do welcome and thank you for for joining us and thank you for having uh, me. let's kick it off for mm -hmm. you're responsible for uh, central europe you okay. have four thousand employees yep and one of your definitely responsibilities are market your your services mm -hmm. market your companies mm -hmm. um, what kind of marketing channels are working for you the best is it online is it offline which mm -hmm. type of them mm -hmm. Can you dig deeper a little bit? Sure. So, um, from a marketing point of view, uh, we have um, two main activities. Right? So, what would be B2B, uh -huh. business to business, where we talk to our customers, to our soon to be customers, and win business. Uh -huh. And then there is a second one called B2E, which is all about um, employees' attraction and retention. Now, going back to your question, mm -hmm. I think nowadays uh, online makes plays a huge, huge uh, difference and there are a lot of very good tools which helps you to, to target and to, to put it the right way. Mm. We still do some on uh, offline marketing, uh, but we, we are trying to be creative. Like what we did a while ago was so-called uh, Billboard TV. Mm -hmm. So we rented a few big billboards in our cities, okay. and we would every two weeks change the change the poster. Mm -hmm. So it was about like people got used to it. It's always lacks of content, mm -hmm. but they will see it uh, well or change. So mm -hmm. so it, it it worked very well. Mm -hmm. So more online, as I understand, but a little bit also offline. Yes, definitely more online. Yeah. How much you do in house? How much you outsource? It all depends on, on, the, on the situation, right? We have now pretty strong uh, in-house team. Second thing, uh, on the other hand, uh, we we've also hire very talented people in marketing, and they, uh, they work with you know with our recruitment, HR, with, with general general management, mm. and together they would uh, create value. And what's important, and where in-house people will have a maybe upper hand is the, 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 the local people will understand the culture of the company, the sure. message, the brand is associated with, and so on. Sure. You, you, you mentioned that um, you're quite often crowdsourcing your marketing activities. Yes, it happens, yeah. yeah. How does it look like? Uh, I think similarly to large, other large players, we have, say, few agencies, few partners who work close with. They, they understand us, we understand them, we like them mm. uh, versus chemistry. Mm -hmm. right? And But at times we, we even do things like uh, crowdsourcing, I mentioned earlier. Yes. Right? We want to look for, for some aspiring talents uh, in graphics or in, in 3D or different fields mm. where we'll have to give him someone to an opportunity, right? And mm. uh, uh, Throughout the time, this person or the organization can become our partner mm. or can even join Luxoft. Uh, so everything is possible. Sure. We don't have one way of doing things. Okay. We will be always agile uh, mm. and react on the spot. Do you use some platforms? What, what platforms can you recommend to others? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm not sure if I fully answered the question, but yeah. uh, what we did in terms of marketing, mm -hmm. we have built uh, we implemented agile methodology into marketing. Mm -hmm. So now they have this stand-ups. They have uh, they use Jira tool, Atlassian tool yes. uh, to to bring to put work orders and to manage tasks and manage okay. load, okay. which is pretty. You know, unique. this is we are strong in agile in application delivery yes. in IT. Yes. But now we in a way reapplied not yeah. only to recruitment yeah. a while ago, but now to marketing as well. Okay. So this works very well. It's it is seamless. It it is very, very well as well integrated with other systems. It can be plugged in everywhere. Okay, Jira. Yeah, Jira. Okay, um, you are in B two B business more or less. Mm -hmm. um, do you use LinkedIn as well for the marketing, advertising, oh, yeah. HR? LinkedIn is, is a very 
a very important tool for us. One of the, one of the things I do, I mean, I really want, I believe in the close relationships sure. with the employees. Mm. And giving the structure you have, you mm -hmm. know, all the, all the org charts and so on, it's actually, it's not that easy mm. to keep in touch mm -hmm. with people. Mm. So what I have to, I have every, for every month, for all the new hires joining me, they will automatically get an invite to join me on LinkedIn. Okay. And often case, it's easier for me, how ridiculous it may sound, to connect to my employees over LinkedIn <laughs> than using my own systems. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Luxtown, which is internal communication system where okay. we block mm -hmm. and so on. But LinkedIn is, is great for this reasons. And second one, LinkedIn will, will give you an opportunity to, to pass like a real life, mm -hmm. mm, real life, um, like a documentary of what's going on in the yeah. company, and this is unique. But you are you are using LinkedIn for more for um, HR and for a, a kind of internal mm -hmm. uh, stuff, or more for a, also trying to find the new customers. Not customers. No customers. Well, I don't. No, I don't think it will work. I mean, at least not in my region. Yes. Okay. Okay. Definitely, it's it is HR, it is recruitment, it's the brand recognition, as well. It's engagement, right? Yeah. So so it, uh, this is where you can find. Can learn a lot of what other companies are doing. You reapply. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, you you are working with the different agencies, mm -hmm. more or less. What are the biggest mistakes? What agencies are doing to to lose your trust? Mm -hmm. Say honesty and the communication. Right. I really want to to know that the deadline will be missed, and I can manage that. Mm -hmm. What I can't manage is the two, two two hours before the deadline say, <laughs> oh, we are still busy. Let, let, let me call you next week. <laughs> it's terrible. Right? I cannot manage that. Yeah. So open communication. Yes. Uh, details, right? Mm -hmm. The reason why I choose to go with external party, mm -hmm. so often case I'm looking for creativity, details, and high quality. Mm -hmm. right? So I really want the external party to bring a value to me. Okay. I could do it myself, but I want something something extra from outside. That would be very important. And lastly, uh, would be as well uh, not valuing our partnership. Mm -hmm. right? So so if, if I see a partner who would say, see that like a putting, I would notice that they are starting to put more and more attention and focus on other customers uh -huh. and I will feel like a second class. Yes. It may not be the best place. Of course, it's, if it's Sachi and Sachi, I'm okay to be second class <laughs> so far, <laughs> probably this year only, but for others, you know, either we walk and we treat each other seriously or we don't. Yeah, hmm? okay. Um, I mean, your company is working with actually in Internet of Things, yeah. Big Tata, and so on. I mean, in your opinion, mm -hmm. what is the future of marketing and advertising? I mean, what do companies need to think today to implement, mm -hmm. to be also successful in their marketing field also tomorrow? All right. Can you give me some insights? Sure. There are a lot of things are going on and these changes are going faster and faster. Mm -hmm. So you now in order, digital, uh, to, to, to answer your question, digital is, is definitely no brainer. Mm -hmm. So all the things you can do in the digital sphere, augmented reality is mm. huge. Mm. And that's something which I would definitely see in marketing agencies. Uh, there's this uh, movie, Man Minority Report, yes. right? And not a very, very new movie, but it very, you can see a very good example of how marketing may look like when you enter Gap, branded, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> and the, 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 the 3D hologram will speak to you, hello, Mr. Jones, do you like the, 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 the trousers you bought two weeks ago? Yeah. Do you like to have another pair, yeah. right? This is, but that's quite scary, huh? It does, but this is where we're going, right? <laughs> so I think there's no stop button. <laughs> Let's go back. One-way ticket to the island there. somewhere. Yes. <laughs> so far, yeah, again, okay, yeah, that's a good point, right? <laughs> this is what we have. So, but now, that's the customer who will be as well asking for, and mm. they, they're looking to, to go into area where they can get an edge, right? Mm. Like we work a lot with the banking. Mm. So with the big banks, investment banks, would, would see technology as a key differentiator. Mm. Right? Yes, you can be smart in the way how you build your tools, how you build your derivatives, mm. but still the easiness of doing business, the speed of doing business mm. is IT. Mm. The cars, right? So right now, the car, the, the car you can buy, would have a million times more code than a Boeing. Yeah. 
So imagine amount of, of work going well in, into the car and there's a huge amount of data produced sure. used by marketing as well, right? Mm. So, so, so we, all the information about how customer will behave, mm. what they will do, connect at home. Yes. So, so it's all this personalization. Yes. Basically. And uh, see, and if you have, say, right, I don't know, 10, 20, 50 mm. sensors in your home, mm. in your home, and the sensor will read the, mm. the, the data. Mm. So imagine after one year, mm. you have you know full basket of hard drives filled with your data just for one person, <laughs> and then for marketing it's a gold mine. Yeah. If you could put the big data to work mm. in the right way, yeah. Yeah. you will understand what do I like, yeah. what I don't like, where do I buy, <laughs> where I wanna, when I will crave for my new cappuccino, yeah. what kind of milk I will I will want to buy, yeah. and what's the good time to sell. Yeah. Uh, Definitely, I think what, what world marketing will need to do is to, to, to stay on top of all this data and mm. be able to, to, to draw conclusions. That's mm. why we have this new job called data scientist. Exactly. Can you share with me your, let's say, 20% mm -hmm. of the activities, habits, what makes actually 80% of your personal success? I, I would say the first one is, is continue to develop. I never settle, it doesn't matter how far you go. Mm. Uh, you need to you know, give yourself a tap on the back, you need to make sure you, you feel happy, but you need to continue to learn. Mm. Just because you get good somewhere, uh, read books. Number two is the people. Right? Mm. The, the true reason why I wake up and I go to the office, I really looking forward to the people I work with. Right? Mm. And some people, at some days they might be grumpy, at some other days you know, we may have some conflicts, yeah. but still I learn a lot from them, mm. I, I look up to them and they really want the, the company, they are people I, I really wake up to, to meet with. Okay. So this are the, and I, I was happy, I was lucky to, to meet a lot of great people throughout my career. Mm. Um, so this is, this, I think these this two people were very important and last one, yeah, as they always in, in big consultancy, you have to, need to have three points, right? <laughs> so I guess this is how my brain is wired right now. Last one is the f famous comfort zone and exposing yourself, right? Mm. When I when when my first daughter was born, maybe one year after, uh, I decided to move with my family to to Asia. Right? Okay. I got an opportunity to move within HP to Asia. Okay. Which is so, from say, from a logic point of view, it was so unreasonable. We have a small child, so you know, all the doctors care, you know, my mother looking after her, and so on. Mm. Plus, if you have a small child, you don't have much time to enjoy Asia. Yeah. Right? And then there's a new, you have a new job, new stress, so you may spend less time with the family. You have a brand new apartment, brand new car, so. Yeah. But I got new the opportunity. Life. I went there. It was investment, it was tough at times. But I would, uh, I would recommend anybody to, to really spend at least maybe one year, two years working abroad. It yeah. uh, doesn't matter how patriotic you are, it changes. I think you have experience as well working yes. abroad, so you see how important it was to get it. And as well, I think what, what we need to do, what we should do for our kids, mm. to let them live not in you know five-star hotel in Turkey, <laughs> but for two for a week, but go and live uh, abroad, and we will. Br I think we will raise much smarter and wiser people. The viewers of the show wants mm. to follow you, mm? and they're interested of of you. Right. What, what about you saying and so on? What are the best channels to follow you? Okay, is it social? Is it email? Is it something I else? I think social. Will, I think LinkedIn will, will be definitely good. Uh, I, I'm there. I, I'm pretty noisy on LinkedIn. They say. <laughs> <laughs> so check this guy LinkedIn profile. Uh, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> if you have one minute to sum it up, all your experience, mm. your knowledge, mm. to your successor. So tomorrow you will be, you know, out of out of business. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said promote the right? <laughs> So okay. and you have one minute to yeah. to tell your story. Uh, to your successor. Okay. So here is your one minute. I, I would say definitely be brave, use the opportunity, ask for opportunity and, and use it to maximum, continue to learn and continue to develop yourself and lastly build a network of people around you. Mm. And try to stay amongst people who are smarter, at least in some aspects than mm. you. Like I think 
Team Ferris said, uh, you are the average of I think five people you interact yes, with, yes, right? So. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, great insights from you. I want to thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. That was a very pleasure. And we are sitting in a very amazing place right now, right? Yes. <laughs> um, also, thank you for watching. If you like the show, just um, click like, share it, of course, with your friends and colleagues. Sign up for our newsletter and uh, see you next time. See you.